What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is another unboxing of the ATI Radeon HD 4350 graphics card or video card. Alright, and this is the AGB 8X connection. Excuse me. With 1080p full HD and it's got an HDMI port, a DVI and VGA. So you guys might not have known already, I already got the Axel 3D, by the way, here's the outside of the box, here's the back of it, you know, nothing too fancy here, labels and all that, right here, and yeah, so let's go ahead and crack this thing open. So, you guys might have known already that I got the, oh, I have to use a pen, I don't know where my scissors went, okay, but I got the Axel NVIDIA GeForce Axel 3D. And um, that was for one of the, I put that in the my E-Machine T2895 PC, and that's going to be connecting to my old TV, which connects to S-Video and Composite, but this one, I'm going to have it connect to S-Video. All right, now this particular one right here, it'll go into the HP A250N, because that's the PC I want to use to fool around with, and I want to use my HD TV as a monitor. I don't want to use that that current monitor I have through VGA because that monitor is an old style monitor and that's just too big and it takes up a lot of room so if I can get this box open without ripping it oh god and my camera is dying too I'm sorry guys I thought that I'd be a pro at these now I can't get one side open, but I can get the other one open. Great. Oh, looks like this opens like that. Got to try to do this quick. Looks like this slides out. Yep. Ah, I see now. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. It, I made myself look bad. All right, so the actual video card is right here. Let's take a look at what we have. We got another bracket to change it. We're using a smaller case. And here's the driver CD, which I do need that. And looks like a installation guide. I already know how I'm going to install this. And let's look at over here. Here is the video card itself. So we also got another bracket, just like the Axel 3D. Oh, sorry for moving the camera. Now, I know NVIDIA in terms of graphics cards is better. But that's only if I need it for gaming or something. And this PC, I'm not going to use it for gaming because, you know, the specs may be good enough for gaming. But, you know, I don't feel like it's really that gaming capable. You know, with a Pentium 4 processor in there, 2.6 gigahertz, and I'm planning to have 4 gigabytes of RAM in there. So, yeah, it's just not going to work out. Uh, I'd rather, like, build a complete new PC and then make that as a gaming PC along with everything else. All right, so... Let's take a look over here. You got the VGA port, HDMI, DVI, and then you have the fan right here. Uh, and of course, this is an AGB 8X connection or AGB 4X. It can go either way. And yeah, the video card is very small, very nice. And this cost me 73 bucks on Amazon. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And as far as the installation of this, this is pretty much the exact same thing as when I installed that video card, the Axel 3D NVIDIA GeForce on the eMachine T2895. So if you want to know how to install this, go ahead and take a look at my video when I installed on the eMachine. It's exactly the same thing. The only thing is this is a different video card, but it's the exact same connection. The other one had like a little notch right here, but it'll be the same thing because this is AGB 8X. All right, see you guys in the next one.